Do we know them? Jeffree Star and Rich Lux helping Eugenia Cooney and TikTok rabbit hole. Let's get into it. On the internet. If you don't know Eugenia's backstory, honestly, all you have to do is YouTube Eugenia Cooney. There's no shortage of content there. Like there's tons and tons of deep dives and people looking into pretty much every aspect and every controversy she's ever been in. We'll basically give you a very, very brief synopsis of her and then go into present day and why we're talking about her today because I do feel like, even though we talk about Jeffree Star and things quite a bit, I mean- Sorry, do you just want to say before we get into anything serious, Jesse's given all too well Taylor Swift 10 minute version here with this with this look, right? I love it. I love it. But we've talked about him enough and nothing happens. Like he just continues on his little fucking lives and making money. People send him like lions and shit. I'm like, Jeffrey you know, Star. Fucking millionaire. Like, no, I don't know what that means. How much money is that? Like $400. <laughs> Are yeah. you joking? Yes, it's one of the biggest Why? TikTok gifts, and he gets one like every single day. I don't know. I guess they want to see his reaction. They want to make sure because he's being sent so many gifts. Even the smaller ones really add up. They want to make sure that they're like noticed or something. I don't fucking know, but it pisses me off so bad. Oh, geez, where do we start? Uh, how would you sum up Eugenia in like, I don't know, Spark Notes version? I know it's hard. Honestly, I'm not super familiar with her backstory, aside from the fact that we have actively chosen not to cover her because the main concern with her is for trigger warning. If you don't know who Eugenia Kumi is, she has received a lot of backlash and also equal parts, I would say, concern for, I don't even know how many years now, uh, several, for being a content creator that has a very obvious ED and denies having one and says that she's fine. And there's been like petitions to get her off the internet because people think that it's a really harmful, I don't even know how to describe it because it's so- Yeah, there's a lot like there. You, you feel so bad, but then you're also like, yeah, she's putting herself out there for millions of people to see. And you don't know what kind of effect that's having on the people watching. Yeah. The thing is that she's a mixture as well of a content creator, so making content unrelated to her ED, despite her appearance being very obviously concerning to a lot of people. And it's not just like how people come for like Lily, hey, you got too skinny, like shit like that. It's not that, it's like, this is dangerous, something's happening. Like literally you are skin and bone. It's not like speculation. No, it's, it's, it's not. like, there's something wrong. There is, like there is no way that someone would be this thin without having an ED, which she obviously has and has vaguely, I mean, Shane Dawson was basically like pulling teeth to get her to even admit that she had a problem, but that was when she was in recovery, when Shane Dawson did his little documentary on her. I mean, we've spoken about the Shane Dawson documentary and how problematic that was. And I feel like it's so easy to just kind of be like, oh, Shane Dawson documentary is problematic, right? I think the Shane Dawson Eugenia documentary is so far beyond problematic on the scale of a professional documentary. Um, this is something I've talked about many times. But I feel that the Shane Dawson documentary is one of the, the worst things that could have ever happened to Eugenia Cooney. And I'm aware, by the way, that Eugenia Cooney is on, you know, TikTok lives with Jeffrey and saying that, you know, Shane Dawson was great to her and lovely to her and stuff. And that's fine. That's fine. But Eugenia Cooney has also sat down and said that it was the most triggering period of her life and that it made her want to do the opposite. And it is one minute until Halloween. It is, Owen. I think Shane Dawson prioritizing the sensationalized story of Eugenia Cooney goes to rehab for a YouTube video got him a lot of views, yes. But happy Halloween, everyone. It's midnight. But I think that the the ramifications of Shane Dawson wanting to rush out that sensationalized story turned into forcing someone to do something they didn't want to do, number one, but forcing someone to do something they didn't want to do very quickly. And I can't even imagine the ramifications of forcing some, literally forcing someone to get help in such a quick way, in, in, in such a quick way, how much more damage that could do to someone in the, the, the long scheme of things. And I think it was just such a disgusting move on Shane Dawson's behalf. And I don't believe that it was, there was any good intentions from Shane Dawson there. I don't, I do not believe that there was any good intentions from Shane Dawson there. And you know why I believe that? Never once has there been a Shane Dawson update. Never once did he really work with her after that one video that did really well. Like, it was a quick 
hit and post. And Shane Dawson doesn't have to deal with the ramifications of what happens next. Eugenia Cooney does. I just think it was done in such an irresponsible way that I can't even imagine what that does to someone. I, j I just don't know what in Shane Dawson's mind thought that that was a smart move at all. But I don't think he was even thinking about that. I thought he 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 knew that people would click it and people would watch it, and he didn't care about what happens next. Her, you know, don't get me started on Katie Morton. She did go to a facility and very briefly was in remission from her ED, and then relapsed worse than ever to the point that I look at her and I'm like, how does everything like how does it not hurt to exist? Like literally, like just pain because you see people talking about it who have had really severe EDs. I've had an ED when I was in high school, but nowhere near as severe, and I never actually got into any like physical pain from it, but people say that if you get thin enough, you actually do get physical pain. Like it hurts to sit. And then they say, oh, that's why Eugene is always imagine. shifting. You know what I mean? Because she's sitting on bone. There's no fat and barely any muscle. I mean, oh, I didn't even actually think about that aspect of it. Yeah, 100%. But then also, she's also clearly not getting the nutrients that you would need, that everything would not be functioning the way it should be because she's not feeding her body to do it. I know that there's also been speculation of like, maybe she has like an illness or something. Maybe it isn't an eating disorder. And I'm not here to say she has this or she has like, I, I don't know, something is wrong. No, I think that that's completely debunkable in my personal opinion because of the fact that she is very adamant and there's so much video proof of her saying there is nothing wrong with me like I am not here promoting anything or doing anything like I'm perfectly healthy I'm perfectly fine I'm happy guys nobody worry and that is not talk of someone who is chronically ill or has like a terminal illness that is someone who is denying an ED yeah and like as someone that gets I mean not as much anymore but like has gotten a lot of comments in the past about people thinking I have an eating disorder which I do not absolutely not that has never been a thing I have been very open then in saying like I first of all didn't lose as much weight as people claim that I did and they're dramatic but then also I have been very upfront about like I have had chronic pain and I've had I've been like depressed about it and like had mental health things that like there's other reasons that you can get skinny besides having an eating disorder so I think if literally the entire internet was coming at you saying you had an eating disorder and you didn't and it was because of another reason I don't know why you would be like super private about that and not yeah and I don't want this to come across like I, I want to be very clear of our intention here we're not like here to nitpick her body and that's not why we're talking about this I at all like this is a genuine number one concern of her state at this current point in time and also other creators on this platform's involvement in it. And that's pretty much the catalyst that has gotten us here. Yeah, and I think that the people we're gonna be talking about absolutely, like they need to face fucking repercussions, whether it be, I don't know, being deplatformed on a certain level. Like I just genuinely feel like if you're using your platform to push someone and joke about where they're at when they're this close, to their life ending, you are fucked. Like, that is how I feel about this, and I'm very, very passionate. So it's not to be like, oh my God, Eugenia this, Eugenia that. Although, I will say, she has had her fair share of controversy. She's known as this really, like, positive light, and like, oh, everything is fine, and whatever. There are moments, and I have a couple of them, where her mask, like, kind of slips, and you see, like, oh, that's kind of bullshit. You know what I mean? Which everyone probably assumed. But she is not Miss Perfect either. There is, I remember a situation with, like, one of her mods, where her mo one of her mods was, like, uh, preying on the younger people in her Discord. Like, there's been weird shit happening, and she's not perfect. I'm not here to, like, talk about her past controversies but she is a human being and she does have a very large platform that's getting even larger now on TikTok. Where is this going to end? I mean, I feel like we all know where it's going to end and it's just concerning and we're all watching it and just not knowing what we can do. I feel like that's most of her comments of people who are like, I'm scared. I don't know how to do anything. Like you see Jacqueline Glenn who was friends with her and tried to get her into a, you remember that whole thing? No. Oh my God. YouTuber Jacqueline Glenn. I mean, the Jacqueline Glenn situation, um, this was one of Eugenia Cooney's friends who basically set her up to be 5150'd. Um, she said to Eugenia, come over, we're going to have fun, we're going to have a nice, like, whatever the context was. Um, whenever Eugenia goes over to hang out, basically Jacqueline Glenn had, like, the cops ready there to uh, basically, like, detain and, and put Eugenia in a 5150 hold um, because Eugenia had to be out of her own home for that to happen, so they had to, like, lure Eugenia out of her home. Um, and obviously like the Shane Dawson one, it's like, or well, I feel like the Jacqueline Glenn situation is different than the Shane Dawson one, so I'm not going to compare them in any way. Um, but time and time again, we're seeing um, situations where we're told that people are forcing Eugenia into, I know they're going to explain it, Nina, but I, I'm just doing this little prologue. Um, we're seeing, and yeah, Jacqueline Glenn literally, that's right, Gina, literally got the advice and sign off from Katie Morton to do this, by the way. And, when we are time and time again dealing with people lying to Eugenia and basically setting her up to get help, 
Eugenia is always going to then associate getting help, anyone would, with being set up or being forced or, you know, and it's like, this is the problem. And it's like, I understand completely people in Eugenia's life being so desperate to want to do something. But it's like, when you're doing these things to try to put myself in the mind of the person who's being done to, it's like, then you can't trust anyone even though their intentions are good and it's just so messy. Also, fuck Katie Morton. Who is a commentary style YouTuber, was friends with Eugenia Cooney. She got together with the therapist that Shane used to have, that kind of like a- Katie Morton. Katie Morton. Jesus, she is interesting. She's not even like- she's hey, not like, Can we get some tomatoes in the chat for Katie Morton? She's like a family counselor or like something like that. Like she doesn't even, I don't know. She does, she's not qualified to do whatever Shane had her doing, which is calling people well, sociopaths. That, yeah, Shane's documentary was really not- it yeah <laughs> but Jacqueline Glenn got together with her and basically Kate, there was proof that Jacqueline Glenn showed that Katie Morton was supportive of Jacqueline Glenn basically having an intervention with her friends and trying to get help for you so Katie Morton said hi Jacqueline thanks for the update I agree that the best move is to get her out of her house so that you can do the PET team and get her to see a doctor whatever she'll be open to I wish this was easier it's really hard when we aren't her parents and she's not a child Ugh. i hope she responds and let me know if i can help in any way xoxo katie eugenia coney and honestly i fucking get it because like what you're scared for your friend and yeah. it turned into a disaster where the mom started freaking out well that's a whole nother it, part yeah place. well the mom is definitely in on all of this and it was fucking crazy it backfired and then basically katie morton turned on jacqueline glenn and was basically telling like on eugenia's side it was very yeah but then Eugenia was opening up to Katie Morton about her friends betraying her and Katie Morton was like, I can't imagine how that feels when Katie Morton was the one suggesting to do it. Very weird. This was a whole like timeline that we missed. Okay. Well, I didn't miss it in real time, but we missed it because we didn't have this podcast. So that aside, there have been people who have tried to help. As I said, like people have done petitions to like get her yep. kicked off platforms and stuff. And I think it gets into weird territory because you're like trying to deplatform someone for just like existing. She's not actively promoting EDs or well, something. Like that's uh, not. It's that's, not like her content. Listen, I don't think that she should be deplatformed because she has a severe ED. That's not why I think she should be deplatformed. I think she should be deplatformed because there is plenty of evidence, in my opinion, of her doing things that are troubling. Like flashing the camera like her underwear are showing by accident yeah. way too many times promoting eds in the sense of not just how she looks but she'll say things like oh my god like this sweater's just so big on me guys right like this one like she'll talk about things or body check constantly or show herself off in a manner that it's like dude come on what is this like this isn't even just someone who's existing and has a severe ed you're acting weird i feel weird about the whole thing just because me it's too. so complicated because also like that is an illness a severe one yeah um i do want to show a few things before we get into this if you don't mind just um kind of one video of her mom okay i do want to skip ahead because there's a lot of people in chat that are saying that they don't necessarily want to watch these videos um and to be as respectful as possible to that you can go and watch this on their channel we're going to skip ahead to when they talk about rich lux uh, this chapter is called Rich Lux Exploits Eugenia Cooney, and then Jeffree Star is Helping Eugenia Cooney. So we're going to skip ahead to both of these. Rich Lux is someone, I don't know when he weaseled his way into being friends with Jeffree Star, but it was, I mean, like, he covered Jeffree Star and stuff, and I guess he licked Jeffree's butthole enough that it worked out. I was just going to say, how, like, did, did he do positive coverage on Jeffree? And that's like, because doesn't Jeffree hate most drama channels? Well, okay, so... Oh, Jeffree loved drama, drama channels. It was a thing, and it was normalized for people. Jeffree loved the drama channels. That's the only way that Jeffree Star got, like, his foot in the door and was able to, like, get his way up the hierarchy, because he used the drama channels before my time to try to befriend different drama channels to kind of navigate the coverage around them sway it to be positive yeah yeah that was much more common back then people don't really fall for it too much nowadays so it's not as prevalent back then it used to be a running joke that jeffree star would have people on his payroll like that's what they would call it oh, it's yeah, like yeah. oh you got them on a payroll anyone remember ashley kyle's video anyone remember that damn video anyone remember that damn video i was on jeffree star's payroll there was no such thing as a payroll you were just being told information so you can make your video quicker. Sure, you made more money, but there's no such thing as a payroll. So I think that during that time, I guess that's when Rich Lux and him got together. I'm not entirely sure, but what I do know is that there's no way Rich Lux would be as close to Jeffrey if he didn't kiss his literal ass. So he maybe has covered Jeffree Star, but Rich Lux, in my opinion, has no integrity whatsoever as a journalist, if you want to call him that. That's very generous. But this, what we're about to show you, I mean, to be fair, 
Anyone who ever calls a drama channel or a commentary channel a journalist is normally when people just say it to them to give them criticism. So, like, I don't think I've ever heard Rich Lux call himself a journalist in Rich's defense here. Like, okay, I'm, I'm taking it point by point here. But, like, I've heard people say this about me as well, where they go, oh, who do you think you are, the journalist? And I'm like, journalist? People say it about Peter Mon, like, oh, here comes the journalist. You're a bad journalist. Like, people say it a lot to, like, criticize drama channels, commentary channels, where they go, oh, journalist. But none of us have ever claimed to be a journalist. I don't think Rich Lux would ever claim to be a journalist. I don't think I would. I don't think Peter Mon would. I don't think Spilsesh would. I don't think anything. I think that that's just an easy way to put Rich down, which, again, we're going to hear all of their points here. But I do believe that that's kind of like a cheap shot that people say about, like, all drama channels and commentary channels. Like, people, like, didn't, correct me if I'm wrong, but whenever Lily and Jesse were getting in trouble for the Josh thing, did they say something along the lines of, like, oh, well, we're just covering this in a podcast, like, we're not journalists? Hey, they might not have said that, but whenever they were being called out, I remember something happened where... They, they said about being a podcast, not a not a journalist or something. That may not be true. Do not hold me to that. But I feel that that may have happened. It's a cheap shot. It'll come and go. So I don't agree with them on that point. I think it's just like a lie to refer to Rich Lux as a journalist. I mean, I don't even think Rich would call himself that. Was sent in actually by one of our listeners and I was... I felt like growing up, honestly. I just don't even understand how you would get to the place that you think that this is something you should do or that this is okay or that I, I just don't get it. You would have to be Rich Lux to get it, I guess. I don't know much about Rich Lux. Honestly, even one of the first times I ever heard of him was when he didn't get let into um, Ace Fest, which was actually the very beginning of our podcast. Oh yeah, we covered that. I've been seeing him more and more because of these lives with Eugenia Cooney and people keep tagging us and stuff and I see random clips and it's usually just him posting exclusives about stuff Jeffrey said. But <laughs> this, I couldn't, I don't even know how it's real. Yeah, I think that going live with Eugenia Cooney at this point in her journey in life is problematic in itself. I think this is a different breed. So we'll just play it. Trigger warning, just letting you know right now. They were having a battle. Um, so a battle is basically two creators go on the screen, they battle. The amount of gifts that are sent, the likes, things like that boost you up in your numbers. And obviously this is an incentive for people to give you more gifts and stuff. So people like to do- I do not understand the TikTok world whatsoever whenever it comes to lives. Like it literally feels so fucking rude to your audience. I don't, I don't, like, this is no shade to Rich, this is no shade to Jeffrey, this is no shade to Eugenia, this is no shade to the thousands of other YouTubers that now do Instagram or TikTok lives, but, oh my god, the thought of, like, the thought of being on a live stream and, like, only really reacting when people, like, gift, which is, like, sending money, is so, like, that's not even saying it in like, oh, I would never do that. It just is like, that's not even a live stream anymore. That's like, it literally is like that. The um, ice cream so yummy, ice cream so yummy. Like, and then it kind of turned into like the TikTok battles where you will literally go head to head with another creator of like your size and whoever gets gifted, sent money the most wins. And then like it resets and then there's another one. So it's like, even if like one of you was to send me $1 million and I win the you know, the battle in 30 seconds, it resets and there's another battle. Like, okay, give me another, give me another million. Like Rosanna Pansino, give me another million. Like I just, this is no, this is literally not dunking on any creator that does this. It literally sounds like I'm saying this about rich. Cause I'm not at all because actually I've watched a couple of riches in or TikTok lives. And I think they're actually very funny. I think he like goes on and like battles, like um, these like random ass people. I think they're really funny. I'm just saying that like the, the concept in, in any creator doing this, I just don't understand for, from a creator's perspective, how it's even interesting to do them. But again, to kind of clarify that I'm not shading Rich Lux here because I'm, it's basically shading anyone that does it. Like Rich, Rich's ones, he was doing one last night where he had like the, the corpse bride, like, um, emoji over his face or something i think rich does them really funny but i just like i just i don't know how any creator does them i think they're so boring to do like please some spare change ma'am do that such a weird concept to begin with i know right i don't know tiktok is weird but in this clip eugenia lost the battle and when she lost she pretended to faint i think my point is more so for people like jeffrey like when people are like gifting like jeffrey star and i'm like you just gave him four hundred dollars <laughs> I guess, or die is a better way to put it because that's what it looks like. Dude, I just called the police. 
Yeah, yeah, her address is 123 Sesame Street. She's she's unconscious right now on TikTok Live. Yeah, huh? Gypsy K506 knocked her out. And Rad. Is she like she's breathing? Chat, is she breathing? Chat, yes or no? Hold on, let me call her mom. She doesn't pick up the phone. You guys, who do I call? Who do I call? Fucking gross, bro. Oh my god. You guys, is she breathing? Nine one one. Am I hearing my voice in the background of that? Five zero six knocked her out. And rad. Is she like she's breathing? Chat. Is she breathing? Chat. Yes or no? Hold on. Let me call her mom. That's my voice in the background. Well, Shane, they're probably going to lose their job because she doesn't pick up. Who the fuck is playing my video? Sorry, we'll get to this in a second. Who the fuck's listening to my video? Does Rich have it on the background or something? Five zero six knocked her out. And Rad. Is she like she's breathing? Chat. Is she breathing? Chat. Yes or no? Hold on. Let me call her mom. Well, Shane, they're probably going to lose their job because she doesn't pick up the phone. <laughs> Who's pl Rich, do you, thank you, Rich. <laughs> Appreciate it, Rich. You guys, who do I call? Who do I call? Fucking gross, bro. Oh my god. You guys, is she breathing? It's really throwing me off that I'm hearing my voice in the background of this. 911. 911. The little emoji there, that is a stop sign, was. Okay, number one, that was jarring to hear my voice. And number two, this video was even more jarring. Um. It's weird. It is. <sighs> I mean, whether it was intended as a joke or not, It, it 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 missed the mark like it's it's not funny and it's not funny on both of their behalves like it's not funny on rich's behalf and it's not funny what eugenia is doing like i don't know what the fucking context is leading up to this but i don't understand i d i don't understand the joke on either of their point of view and yeah to give rich criticism for this but yeah to also give eugenia criticism for this and he sneeze <coughs> ah! sorry i feel like on both of their behalfs this is really f like rough like really rough and whether it was an intended as a as a as a funny bit i like i don't even i mean rich like what I believe is happening here is, like, they're feeding into the bit, you know, of, like, the bit of, like, social media where people are saying, like, oh, like, people are going to call the cops on Eugenia and people are going to whatever. Like, I understand they're feeding into the bit. They're both being ironic here. Like, they're they're both they're both making fun of the audience. Um, the audience being, like, the people um, who are hating Eugenia or trying to get her help. Like, they're, they're being ironic here, obviously. Um, but... If I had stumbled across this on my For You page, um, where my mind would go to immediately um, would be something a lot darker than, like, a funny collab. Um, yeah, that's... I, ha I had not seen that video. Um, I, I think on both of their behalfs. I think it's 100% um, valid to give Rich criticism for it, and I think it's 100% valid to give Eugenia criticism for it. Um, yeah on by the listener i on like again i understand what the, the the joke was supposed to be here it's to poke at the joke but it really isn't something to joke at her that sent this like screen grab in and that is because her underwear were showing 
Again, she's laying there, pretending to be dead, as then Rich Lux is pretending to call people. One of them being her, her mom, which is obviously a fucking horrendous impact on her life, and obviously in on this in some weird way that we obviously don't understand, but she's in on it somehow. This is so disgusting for Rich Lux to sit here and think that he's doing any sort of joke. Like, we're, we talked about our last topic, like, oh, that's not a joke. No, this is like so beyond not a joke. You are spineless and you have no moral compass whatsoever. I don't care if you're actually real life friends with her, because that's what Jeffrey's gonna start claiming now. She's uh, under Jeffrey's care right now. Even if you want to claim that you are, you're fucking not. Because no friend does this. I was going to say, like, I don't even know if this applies, but like, you have lost the plot so much. Oh like, what the fuck are you doing? No, it's not. He really has no moral compass. It's just chasing likes, views, which is why he does the coverage that he does in the way that he does it. Because it's literally just like, eh, whatever. Can I make money here? Can I make money there? Which is what gives drama channels in general a horrendous fucking name. Because everybody just thinks that we're all the same. Nobody cares about anybody's reputation. And we're all just like, ah, whatever gets us money and views because of the rich luxes in this community. Like, in my opinion, and I've seen Dustin Daly say shit like this, which he is another drama channel that used to be friends with Rich Lux and he has denounced him entirely. And he's like, we're not in the same fucking universe, basically. Like you just don't do shit in any way that is like humane. Like you're just fucking putting shit out so irresponsibly. But this is beyond even that. I don't even know what this is. Like it's so fucking weird. I don't either. And it's just on Eugenia's part, like the whole flashing thing that's like disturbs me. And then you have Rich Lux being a fucking, I don't even know what, but then that's not even where this ends because they have this battle, whatever. Honestly, it didn't even get the coverage that I think it should have gotten. Like, I think he should have been absolutely exposed for doing this. Like, obviously the people who were live saw it and they get a good amount of viewers, but it really almost happens so often and like things like this happen so often. Say, I mean, at this care. point, I think people also just try and avoid watching because it's so Maybe. hard to watch anything with her at this point. Yeah. Honestly, I get that because I kind of avoid content from her too. Well, and, and a lot of people think that that's something that you should It's kind of what I was speaking about at the start of it avoiding her because she does continue to do it for the attention, seemingly. Now, I want to just juxtapose that with Rich Lux's most recent coverage of Eugenia Cooney because Eugenia Cooney is at Jeffree Star's house. This is what I did see. Um, again, kind of what I talked about at the start where I, I'm trying to be as uninvolved in this as possible for the sake of I can't engage with any of this. Um, I have seen that Jeffrey has taken an interest to Eugenia, and it's very clear the reason that Jeffrey has taken an interest to Eugenia is because if anything is going to get Jeffrey Star attention, that motherfucker's going to grab at it. And we're very much so seeing that here with Eugenia joined a couple of Jeffrey's TikTok live battles, and the clips started to go viral because people were like, this is such a weird pairing. And actually, one of the first ones was whenever they were talking about Colleen Ballinger, if people remember, where it was Rich Lux, uh, Jeffrey, and Eugenia. And she, like, sat in silence the entire time Jeffrey was talking about Colleen and stuff. And it was like, um, that was one of the first times. And those clips started to go really viral. And so now, surprisingly, Jeffrey Star has apparently been friends with Eugenia all along. And Eugenia is now at the Star Yak Ranch. And... What do you think they're doing? So Jeffrey is now friends with Eugenia, or apparently has been all along. What do you think? So Jeffrey, Eugenia has flown out Star Yak Ranch. What do you think they're doing? What do you think these friends are doing? Do you think that they are um, off social media, uh, you know, enjoying the fact they're at a fucking yak farm, you know, going to Jeffrey's store every day, you know, without social media? Do you think they're hanging out every day, you know, just enjoying each other's company? Or... Do you think that they're sitting in the same room together with two fucking tripods set up, with two phones set up, both on live streams at the same time, not talking to each other, but just coexisting on a live stream together at the same time in the same room? Because if you thought the second one, bingo! Staying with him, which is interesting for a few reasons. Number one... Why? I've never seen her leave her house. She doesn't get to even go out to see the fucking moon, like we were saying. So it's very, yeah. very interesting that she How even she got to fly. Wyoming? We're not sure, but we have some insight from like Jeffrey, of course, going live and spilling beans. Uh, but this is Rich Lux's coverage of it. Does he have the exclusive? Of course. Jeffrey Star gets emotional when he starts talking about Eugenia Cooney and when he meets her after coming back from a full face of makeup tutorial he did with her. He steps away from the camera, has a moment with the chat. He comes back into the room and sits down and hugs Eugenia Cooney. Let me show you what he had to say. Here we go. I just met her because I've had some TikTokers at my house recently. But me and Miss Eugenia, we go bad, girl. Okay? This bitch was on my top eight on my MySpace page. Some of you girls weren't even awake when MySpace was up. Y'all were sucking on fucking... Fuck, Y'all were in diapers and okay, with your pacifiers when I was starting my little internet career. So just know that my friend that's in my house means a lot to me. 
and no one's going to disrespect her. But Jeffrey only ever invited her out whenever she was getting him viral clips on TikTok. Then she can be invited out. And she's alone a lot of the time because it's hard for her to trust people. So we're changing that. We got her out of the house. It's hard for her to leave the house because she doesn't trust people. So I'm going to invite her out and we're going to spend the entire time on TikTok fucking live together. Okay. She's surrounded by me and all my beautiful friends that I have around me and my team in Wyoming. And that's what's most important, you know? I haven't seen her this happy in a while. And it's just really nice to like laugh off camera at y'all. When we went off live last night, we were giggling, howling and crying, laughing for like at least a few hours. And then I was like, okay, time for sleep. Um, and it was nice to see her get some really nice rest. When she's sleeping, she looks like a little angel, you guys. It's so... This is so fucking weird. This is so fucking weird. He goes, I've never seen her this happy. We ended the live and we hung out for hours, laughing, smiling, and crying. She had some beautiful rest and looks like an angel when she sleeps. This is so weird. Like, so fucking, like, so far beyond weird, even for Jeffree Star standards. Like, I'm really, like, is so disturbing. Sorry. Like, it really is so fucking disturbing. You are literally, like, inf yes, infantilizing her beyond fucking words. It's so cute. It's so endearing. My, my, my sweet girl. What the actual fuck is wrong with him? Literally, what the fuck is wrong with him? What? This is the weirdest shit I've ever... Of course, drink your Red Bull. Of course. Shauna, Eugenia loves you. She says, thank you for always being real. It's hard to find people who are just giving and caring on this app. Um, and Eugenia has gifted so much of her own money to creators, to small people, to strangers. Um, I've seen it with my own eyes, and it's just really beautiful to watch. So I love it. And yes, she's here for a while, you guys. I'm not telling you when she's going home, but she's here for a while. She didn't just come for a day to, like, give me a high five and leave. <laughs> you know? No, I don't know. I just want to pause with it. For you. Lily, I'm with you there. <laughs> I feel like Lily just perfectly described that. No, we don't know. Like, what the fuck do you mean? We don't know. No, we don't. Ugh, I hate the way he just spoke about her. I hate the way he just spoke about her. It is so fucking creepy. I watched her sleep. She's a little precious fucking angel. Blah, 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 blah. What the fuck is wrong with ye? My sweet girl. Jesus Christ. Jesus fucking Christ. I can't. Sorry, one of my friends literally just texted me and was like, what the fuck? Hey, see you tomorrow. Uh you to just acknowledge for a second the sheer amount of gifts he's being sent he's not even acknowledging them because every second he gets another gift i don't that's a good point all of that things that you just saw was money being sent to him by the way you know the like boom 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 money gift and stuff that's all money being sent to he's him just getting thousands of dollars from doing whatever the fuck this is like it and by the way in calling in in making reference to that i don't think that's in any way jealousy of jeffree star i think it's just important to note that the only reason he's coexisted whoa fucking nearly fell off my seat Jeffree Star Voodoo coming in strong. The only reason he's doing these lives where he's now talking about Eugenia so much is because it's the ones in which he gets most people watching and most money. I don't think that is me bitter or anything, you know, by saying that. It's just real. If you're watching right now, could you like the video, please? Like the stream? Spare a little change, please. <laughs> it's like me. I'm Jeffrey on stream, but I'm not asking you for money. Please spare a little like of the stream and the video. Click, click the like button, please. <laughs> and like a cowboy hat comes on my face. It's bizarre. The fucking alien that, that doesn't do anything. Okay. She's in control of her own life. <laughs> I know that. She's in control of her own life. <laughs> what was that? <laughs> was is das? What was that, honey? What the fuck was that? She's in control of her own life. <laughs> I didn't know this was a David Dobrik vlog. 
Was ist das, Honey? Really hard to believe from what the internet has projected and what you've seen. She Bye runs her. her own life. <laughs> I don't know. What ah, what's going on? She runs her own life. Oh, 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 oh. Holy shit, I'm watching a vlog squad vlog. Fuck me. I was to say about it, bitch. Okay, she pays her own meals, y'all. She pays her own meals. It's not just like people speculating, though. There is video proof because she has gone live for so many years of her mom being super controlling, of her leaving her bedroom. So what are you even fucking talking about? Like, the internet's projecting? You know what projecting means? Like, I hate when people use terms that they have no fucking idea. Like, I can leave my house wherever the fuck I want. Like, what are you talking about? That's not projection. It's observations. What is he going off? Like, she pays her own bills. Yeah, no shit. All she does is sit in her room and make content. Yep. Okay. Girls, where's your laughter? Come on. <laughs> You have to speak like Jeffrey. Come on, talk. And, uh, uh, uh. <laughs> what the fuck? I've never heard someone make that noise in my entire life. Uh, <laughs> Even David Dobrik's is, is better. Kidding? I bet she does pay her and her parents' bills. Like, I'm positive about that. Ding, ding. Like, what the fuck is going on? And what is he talking about watching her sleep? I, don't, I haven't seen this whole thing. And I was like, oh, Jesus, what the fuck? She's not a puppy. She's his little girl. Like, please. No, she's his little sweet girl <laughs> never say that again thank you it's so weird uh, oh okay. she's a who was that <laughs> was that jesse or lily who just burped like please never say that again thank you it's so weird uh, oh oh it was jeffrey oh my fucking god i thought that jesse or lily just fucking let one rip into the mic that would have been so funny if they'd done that. Ooh. That was crazy. Okay. Jesus. Suck on that. She pays her own fucking bills. She's a normal ass person like me. We just all have our own problems and demons. Can you all imagine what you're currently going through right now? If it's amplified in front of millions of people and then those millions of people degrade you every day? I could never. So then you're acknowledging that she has something going on. Ooh, this angle of Jeffrey same time as telling everyone that they're projecting yes but he's also so basically what he's saying in my eyes there in that clip was like her mom is not holding her hostage yes she obviously does have a severe ed but like she's here with me and my friends which i'm like jeffrey with peace and love i cannot imagine a human being i would want to be around less when i'm going through a horrendous time than you like there is no, no. <laughs> that's so true <laughs> Nobody on this earth. Like, it's just genuinely, like, not comforting to hear that. But anyway, he's saying that. And then he's also, like, not acknowledging that, yes, I understand having a lot of people speculate on things is really tough. You constantly are putting yourself out there. She has made so many hours and hours and hours of content since I can remember. She was on every live streaming platform. Before TikTok, she was live streaming. I think it was on, was it you now or was it Twitch? She's constantly been live streaming her life for hours and hours and hours for years now. She has profited greatly off of that. So it's like, I understand she is struggling. But like people aren't just like showing up at her house and just being like, oh my God, look at you. Like you're no, like there's a reason people have so much access to her life to be able to even pick it apart. Like it's just like you're acting like people are so unwarranted. People, from what I see, 90% of people are just super concerned. Yeah, that's the thing. I was gonna say, yes, I'm sure there are people being complete fucking assholes For sure. and insensitive. And I I that always is gonna be the case. But the majority of things that I've heard people say are not trying to be hurtful. Not they Jeffrey Claus. There is a serious, serious problem going on and that they don't want to watch her just continue to deteriorate in front of their eyes. Yeah. And then for him to just be like fucking burp and be like, so suck on that. Like it's just uh, oh God, suck on that, Jeffrey. He kind of acts like, oh, she's safe with me. Literally, I <laughs> saw a clip going viral the other day where it i mean you don't see him actually <laughs> i nearly him. threw up with that burp that was crazy like it's very very clear that he's doing like a bump right off camera okay i actually pulled that clip because i wanted to show it because i was like oh interesting like yeah great influence to be around <laughs> jeffrey star doing on live <laughs> Okay, he goes by allergies. You know what I will say? I do this a lot. I do this a lot. Where I, like, will go off and wipe my nose. And I'm, like, literally touching my nose. And I've had a lot of people say that, like, I'm doing drugs whenever I do that. So, I'm not going to speculate on this. Because literally whenever I do this, people say that I'm doing stuff. So, I don't really care to comment on that at all. He grabs something out of a bag, leans off of camera, sniffs, and then wipes his nose and goes, oh, my allergies, you guys. What if he's vaping? What if he's vaping? 
is wanting people to think he's doing it and not like that's the only other explanation besides him doing it. Yeah, yeah, and I don't even know why he would want that. Yeah. Um, this is the rest of the clip we were watching though. The wellness check on me. Oh yeah, I did. Yeah, I was like, thank you, baby. Make sure he's okay. Look, like everything has to be documented. Like this is my favorite thing about Jeffrey being the this saving grace of Eugenia. Everything's documented. Everything has to be documented. Of course, everything has to be documented. How would you know that Jeffrey is being a, a savior of his sweet little girl, Eugenia, if he's not documenting it, documenting it on fucking TikTok Live? You know, like don't 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 shine it over here. Oh yeah, no, of course, don't worry. Mm -hmm. I have a government like in there. I'm definitely. Mommy might go water her plants. I have it minute. all like mm -hmm. all close up so nobody can <laughs> see anything. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Why is he talking like this? Mommy needs to go water his plants. Mm, yeah. Am I missing something? Please don't do that. Wash my hands, like with the makeup. Why would I mind? <laughs> you guys are genius too sweet. I was like, you, oh, what kind of story? You're a sweet little girl, right? Y'all stop trying to make her insecure. She's known me for too long, okay? Yes. I'm I'll go have one of my assistants wash her hands for her. How about that? Oh my gosh, you're the best. Okay. <laughs> I, was like, I was even telling them just like how amazing you are. And Thank like. You. Did I crack? Okay. Ugh. This is so weird. It's like everyone that Jeffrey is around, he like makes them feel so inferior to him that they have to constantly praise him. You're the best. Like, seriously. Okay. I'll go, I'll go wash. All right, I'll talk to your chat. Yay. We'll do a double. Better. Nice to look, you. We'll do a double right Oh, I love here. it. You're like double wide. See, look, he's literally using her audience to gain his as well. I would use the kitchen one because it's a mess. Okay. It's a mess in there, girl. Okay. And, and, and I guess you don't mind if I kind of, you know, you know, like go in there, you know, like. You get right. done. Thanks, Jeffrey. I'll be right back. You guys, is this robe look comfy? The material? Do you get the vibe that he's like not even paying attention to what she's saying? And just, oh, yeah. Literally. The cameras are on him and that's all he's paying attention to. And it's so fucking degrading that Eugenia is literally like, would it be okay if I walk into your kitchen? Would it be okay if I do this? And he's like, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, like, you know what I mean? I was literally just, just about to say, you know what's really healing? Being around someone who's so fucking egotistical that when you're speaking, they're just staring at themselves in a camera and looking at their $100 robe. Like, waiting for you to stop talking. Like, literally, he's just like, mm-hmm, yeah, okay, anyway, wow, I love this robe. Yeah, that's... <laughs> you're missing the... <laughs> exactly what i need Sorry. at the lowest point of my life and like when i really need help is jeffree star just staring at himself on a live camera are you fucking joking like i'm just flabbergasted the whole thing is just it's gross and i don't get it that's honestly all we know he has not obviously given any information on like how he's helping other than just like she's surrounded by me and that's the cure to everything it's like <laughs> not jesse pulling up jeffrey doing the heart so that he can get the the heart little emotes that people will pay for. He goes, me, me. <laughs> Is it? I don't know. It, it's very disturbing. I honestly, it's such a hard topic to talk about because it's so easy to be seen like you're speaking about it in poor taste. But I genuinely do believe like the majority of people and certainly we are just like genuinely concerned for this person and have no idea how to help her. And even people who have been close to her in her real life and would regularly hang out with her in real life couldn't help her. So how the fuck is Jeffree Star just gonna like whisk her away to Wisconsin? Or where is he? Wyoming. Wyoming, I'm like one of the W's. No. How is he gonna whisk her away there and all of a sudden she's gonna be better because she's in his mansion? Like it's just, it's so sad because it's clear that again, it's another story of like someone having people around her who are just. And I just think as well, considering how much Jeffrey was like, I'm here to help her. I'm here to support her. Finally, she has some real people in her life. And it's like, you just showed us a clip where you're literally, she's talking at you. And you're, you, you couldn't give two fucks. Like, you literally could not give two fucks. Like, yeah, yeah, of course, yeah, 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 of course, like, yeah, 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 like, it's like Randy from South Park, yeah, 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 like, it's like constantly failing her. It's just, I don't know. Well, and it feels like typical Jeffrey where it's just like throwing money at it and thinking that makes it better, but Shall we read the really fucking weird TMZ article? Oh my god, yeah, that came out recently too. This All right. Okay. So, we were here to get the rundown on what is happening between Rich Lux and Jeffrey. So, we will leave it there for this. Um I think the Jeffrey thing is has kind of pissed me off the most how much he's infantilizing her and also just 
kind of degrading her. I don't like it. How can you portray yourself as, oh, I'm helping this person. I'm finally here for this person. They sleep like a baby angel. Like, and then, by the way, I'm allowed to make that joke because he went off camera. To, so he was just cleaning out his nose or blowing his nose. But yeah, it's weird. Anyway, now we know the context of that. So we'll leave it there. But anyway, shout out to everyone involved. Hi, guys. <laughs> Send me donations so it fills a heart in here. <laughs> All right, I'll see you later.